Hey guys, Nick aka the one and only Nick's Games, and today, finally, comes the long-awaited video on how to add your mod pack to the Technic Launcher. It, it's been a long time coming, I know, it's been me over the course of a break continuing this series, but we're back. And we're doing this. So, first off, we want to open up Ulti MC, which as you can see right here, is our 1.8 mod pack that we are creating. We want to go ahead and click on Config Folder right here, and then we can just simply go up here at the top and click on Minecraft. Now, once you've done this, you want to keep this folder open because we're going to be using it quite often, okay? But we're not done yet, so drag that kind of over to the side or something like that, and come back over to here into this. Once you're in this, you want to go ahead and click on Instant Settings, and then go up to Version. Now, as you can see, it has Forge right here. Take note of what version of Forge this is. So, 11.14.3.145 is what it is for me. For you, it could be something completely different. Whatever that version number is, it doesn't matter. Go ahead and open up your web browser and go to the first link in the description down below. It will take you here, where then you want to select the Minecraft version that your Forge is. For us, we're creating a 1.8 mod pack. So you want to make sure it's 1.8 and that 1.8 is bolded. If you're 1.7.10, you would go highlight 1.7.10 and then click on 1.7.10 right there. But again, we're a 1.8 mod pack, so we need 1.8 to be bolded. Now, let's go ahead and click on Show All Downloads here and find the version number that we have right over here. Right, so here's this version number. We're looking for 14.1450 at the end. So, .1450 at the end. So, scroll all the way down here. Right there it is. As you can see, 1450. It's got a star next to it because it's an official version. Then you want to come all the way over to where it says Universal and click on that. This is going to take us off to Add Focus. If you've got any issue with Add Focus, usually you don't. But if you do, simply right-click and reload. That should help you. If it doesn't, go How to Enable Cookies on whatever bytes you have. Go to the tutorials there. Come back and it should work. Again, if it doesn't, there's nothing I can do for you. Add Focus something Forge has to use to make a little bit of money back for all the work they've done to Forge. Nevertheless, once you've waited those six seconds, you can go ahead and click Skip. And it downloads right down here. We want to keep that. The Forge Universal Jar. Okay, it's very important that you get the Universal one. So at the end, it should say Dash Universal, as this one does. Once you've done that, you can actually go ahead and close out a multi-MC. We don't need it anymore. Um, we do need, again, this folder over here that we opened at the beginning. Hope you haven't closed out of that. If you have, go get it back up. Now let's go ahead and create a new folder on our desktop. You can name this whatever. For me, I'm going to name this Survival. That survival, I'll get there, plus mod pack. You can name it whatever, but this is a survival plus mod pack, so it just makes sense. So you want to then open this up and uh, make one folder in here. This one folder is going to be a bin folder, B-I-N, all lowercase, exactly like that. If it's not, it will not work. So then we're going to go ahead and open up that and drag Forge from our desktop into this bin folder. Once it's in here, we want to right-click on it and rename it mod pack exactly like that all lowercase pretty much everything we're gonna be doing today is all lowercase so just keep doing that now that you've done that you can go ahead and hit enter and then go back now we want to come over here and drag over anything of importance what is of importance anything that you've edited for me it is config it is mods and that is it nothing else also mod credits so again Mods, config, and mod credits, you must drag over. If you have core mods, right, right here, you can drag those over as well. You honestly shouldn't need anything other than that unless you're installing a texture pack with your mod pack. If you want to throw in a texture pack here, do that. But keep in mind, you probably have had to make it. Most texture packs don't allow for redistribution like that. You need permission to do that, so make sure you get that permission before you throw it in there. But nevertheless, if you do have a texture pack that you made for your mod pack, you would drag over the texture packs folder. If you don't, you're good to go. Now, all we need to do is go ahead and highlight all of these right like this. We want to then right click, send to compressed zipped folder. We want to then title this zipped folder, whatever you want. Again, I'm going to do mine survival plus, oh, I missed the R, survival plus, I can't type tonight guys, plus mod pack, right like that, and then now if we open it, it should open and be these folders, right, so if we drag this to our desktop, and we double click on it, it should mirror, right, what is in this non-compressed folder 
right here. So here's our non-compressed folder, and here's our compressed one, and as you can see, both of these are exactly the same. That is what we want. Now that we've done that, we can go ahead and close out of this, close out of this, and even close out of this, and go over to the next thing in the description, the second link, which is technicpack.net. When you're on Technicpack, you're going to need to register for an account. So let me just go ahead and log out. Once you're here, you want to go ahead and register. Go through all of that process. If you're me, however, you've already got a thing set up. You're good to go. You just need to click on some buttons and log into your account. But it's not letting me do that. So let me go ahead. Oh, there we go. It did it. It did it. It can remember me and log in. So there we are. Now that we're here, though, we need to, by the way, after you register your account, you'll be taken here to the dashboard. Once you're on the dashboard, though, you want to come up here, click on this, and click on My Mod Packs. Once you're here, you shouldn't see anything. I think it says Create a Mod Pack if you don't already have one, but if you don't see that, I accidentally clicked on My Mod Packs. Instead of up here at your name, click on Create a Mod Pack. Once you've done that, you can name your Mod Pack. My Mod Pack's name is going to be Survival Plus Mod Pack tutorial mod pack because it was made in this tutorial the minecraft version for it is 1.8 if you are a 1.7.10 mod pack you click on 1.7.10 but mine is 1.8 right there it's not a hidden pack meaning it is publicly available if you don't want your mod pack to be publicly available that's fine but you have to give the link to everybody who you want to use it so you have to distribute that link this one's publicly available it's fine the short description, uh, you can make it whatever. For this one, we'll make it mod pack that adds some minor improvements to vanilla Minecraft made in a tutorial at, and then I'll link my YouTube channel because plug youtube.com slash games. There you go. Simple as that. You read through all of this. I read through it all with my previous mod pack, so I don't need to do it again. Click on I agree, and then create mod pack. Now, the name may not be greater than 30 characters, so if you get an error out like that, then you have to come back in and redo this. So we'll do survival plus mod pack, boom. Just do it, we're doing it quickly, guys. We're doing it quickly. Right like that, boom, agree, create mod pack. Please work, dang it, somebody's already taken survival plus mod pack. See, this can be a little, uh, a little survival plus tutorial mod pack there we go Let's see if that one is available I bet this one's good maybe tut mod pack I'd say tut mod pack it will work it doesn't have to be a good name I'm not actually looking to do any promotion of this mod pack outside of this video boom there we go this mod pack will not show in the mod pack index until it is properly configured either set a URL or a zip or solder now don't worry we're gonna do that once you've gotten to this page you can go ahead and hit edit mod pack and then you can add this direct URL. But Nick, how do we get a direct URL to our mod pack? Quick and easy. Go ahead and open a new tab and go to Dropbox, not dropback.tv, but dropbox.com right here. That's going to be the third link in the description down below. Once you're on Dropbox, you want to probably create an account if you don't already have an account, which I do. I'm going to go ahead and sign into that and I will meet you guys once I've signed in. Once you're logged into Dropbox, yours will probably look something like this, but without the folders. For me, though, I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder by right-clicking and selecting New Folder in Dropbox. And uh, what I'm going to title this folder is simply Mod Packs, just because. Let's go ahead and create a folder here. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and click on the Mod Packs. And then we want to upload a folder, or upload a folder, upload the uh, zip file that we created right here. So just click on the zip file, drag it over into Dropbox. And as you can see, it will immediately start uploading, and there it is. Once it's done this, you want to right-click on it, you want to click on Share, and then you want to get this. So right-click, Copy, now we're not done. So once you've copied that, you can create a new tab, paste that link, and it will take you here. Once it's taken you here, you want to right-click on this, you want to click on this download link, I apologize, and uh, it should give me a direct download link, but it doesn't. So I'm going to have to... Take, give me one second, I'm going to jump cut, you're going to have to do a URL change, no big deal, we're going to get this, give me two seconds. Alright, so I figured it out. Now what you have to do is get this link right here, so again, go ahead and go to this link that you got from clicking on share. Once you're here, however, you want to go ahead and delete the www dot at the beginning and type dl dot, and then you want to delete the s right here from https, 
and then hit enter and it should direct download your uh your, your mod pack which it did so we need to again do that one more time so dl right there and then remove the s quick and easy and uh once you've done that you can simply copy this come back over here and paste it right here in mod pack location so once you've done that you're good to go you can add in some tags for your mod pack survival um survival add-on i don't know um awesomeness and then we'll add in nick's games for for one because again anytime you can plug yourself you should for mod pack website you don't have to worry about that everything else you don't have to worry about you can read through it yourself just click update and now your mod pack is technically live to see it go ahead and go to nick's games or not nick's games go ahead and go to your profile name up here and then click on my mod packs and then you should see some stuff as you can see if we click on survival tut plus mod pack there you go it's here it's ready to go if you want to install the mod pack you simply do this and then click on that right there so click on this and copy and now let's go over to the uh to the technic launcher because why not we might as well download this mod pack live just so you guys know it is uh working right so let's go ahead and do that once you're here you want to go ahead and log into your minecraft account because it's been that long since i've logged into technic so i will see you guys in a minute once i've done that once you've entered your login info which you might have already done that you can click login and it will log in here now to get the mod pack up and running just click on mod packs right there and then you want to add the mod pack by pasting that link you got into this little area and as you can see here it is survival plus tut mod pack click install and then it'll go through and do all that stuff and look at that apex minecraft hosting they're sponsoring this video go check them out nextgamescom apex link down below now as you can see it's installing going through downloading stuff doing some things wait for it it'll do it eventually and once it does we'll be able to launch into this mod pack and you'll see that it is actually up and running so if we hit play here this is the first play it's exciting people i'm the first person to ever play this mod pack the first launch, the first download, everything. Kind of liberating, isn't it? Being the first to do something. Yes! Success! Launching into everything, and whatever it is, we can go ahead and do this. It's massive, and there are all of our mods. As you can see, Choking Code Chicken Core, Nine of Items, BSP Arcade Core, Drink Cap, cap <laughs> Inventory Tweaks, and Iron Chest. Awesome stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. This series is not yet done though because next week we're going to be doing a video on how to get people to play your mod pack that's very important now that it's up and like playable how do you get people to play it well i'm going to teach you guys and show you guys how you can go about doing that next week so anyway guys hope you enjoyed again check out apex minecraft hosting nixgamescom slash apex link down below and uh, it's pretty awesome stuff all right guys hope you enjoyed the video i'm nix games thanks for watching and i'm out guys Peace. And there's some videos you guys might want to go check out. Down that way, we've got Nick Tech, which is the epic and awesome modded Minecraft Let's Play tutorial series in my very own mod pack, Nick Tech. It's pretty awesome. Go check it out. I think you guys will really enjoy it. It'll also teach you how to play some modded Minecraft. And down the other way is how to get your mod pack ready for launch. That's a previous episode in the How to Make a Mod Pack series, so go check that out. If you watch through this and want to get some more info and get some insider tips on how to make a mod pack, go check out that video. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up again. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I make awesome videos of Minecraft and everything else every single day of the week. I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out, guys. Peace.